Hi there and welcome to this video. Okay, so I thought I'd show you this quick tip. Um, a lot of people struggle with showing the uh, parallax uh, effect in Substance Painter and you can see it working here. This is a material from my latest course on Udemy which you'll find in the description below if you're interested. Um, but this effect here where you've got this bump, you know, I can change the scale and you can see it changing. That's not geometry doing that, that is the parallax height map uh, and tessellation working on that to give you that effect now it's quite fiddly to get this showing up in substance painter so i thought i would show you how to do that as a quick tip uh, so this is the material i created in substance designer and i've taken it into substance painter so let's jump on over there right now okay so this is how it comes across when we drag it in from uh substance designer pretty straight nothing uh, there's no power acts there at all no height map really showing up uh, so we need to set it up and turn a few elements on for it to be able to uh, render it so the first thing we do is go into our uh, texture set settings here and we add a displacement map down here so we click on add displacement that'll be the first thing you see nothing happens straight away and that's because we have to do a few things to make it appear so click that off and next thing we do is we go into our shader settings here and we turn on parallax occlusion mapping turn that on boink, like so and you can turn the strength up you can see it starting to ha come to life there uh, so we want some minimum samples, maximum samples, plenty of samples, but you'll notice that it's a bit weird. <laughs> it looks pretty freaky, um, which is not the desired result. So what we do here is we click on our, our layer here, make sure that it's that layer that's selected. You need to come down into channel mapping, down here, channel mapping in your material, in your layer, open that up scroll down to to displacement and you'll see it's using the base color which is what it does by default to um, assign to the, that channel so we need to change that to the height map so come down here select height and there you go it suddenly clicks into place and you can now go back into your uh, shader settings and play with these values here to give it some more strength more samples, minimum samples, maximum samples, just to clean it up basically. And there we go. That's how you set up your uh, parallax occlusion in Substance Painter. I hope you find that useful and um, very quick, very simple, and uh, very useful. It looks pretty cool. So that's it. And like I said, if you're interested in joining my course, this and much, much more on how to use Substance Painter and Substance Designer can be found in the link below where I've included a coupon which has got a discount attached to it. So just click it and you'll be taken straight to the course where you'll learn how to use Substance Painter. And now I've just added a whole section on Substance Designer too. So I'll see you over there. Bye for now.